another colorful keto with Dory. And I, I don't know, are you guys surprised? We're going to talk about bacon. <laughs> we're going to talk about bacon bash. Tonight we're getting together with Keto Cowboy and we're going to get to ask all of our questions about bacon bash. Now, I don't know if you guys have questions, but I have a million. And, and I think my question number one is what rock was I living under that I never heard of something called bacon bash like what what the actual heck how did I not hear of something called bacon bash so tonight that's what we're gonna do we're gonna ta ask all of our questions about bacon bash what is it what's it about where is it how do we go there and I'm so so excited because I can never talk about bacon too much I'm just gonna put that out there and I'm going to say it again slowly, ladies, and I'm going to say, bacon. <laughs> so, hello, ladies. Hello, Jimmy. Hello, Josh. It's so nice to see you. Neil should be with us in a moment, and I'm so excited. So, if you guys have questions about Bacon Bash, post them in there. Now, we're also on Facebook Live, but those comments I don't get to see unless I snoop on my phone, which I, I can't lie, I might snoop on my phone or when the live is all done and then I'm able to go back and look at those. So I'm gonna hop over to Facebook so that I can see your guys' comments too. And you know what, while I'm there, I might quick share it to my group while we're waiting for Neil. And I'm so excited. I hope you guys are as ready to talk about bacon as I am ready to talk about bacon. <laughs> Terry, Terry, Terry posts the bacons, woo! Bacon, 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 darling. Yeah, we can't love that too much. I'm just gonna put that out on a limb and say, yeah, I I wouldn't do much for a Klondike bar, but I love me some bacon. <laughs> Apparently, Diana doesn't love bacon anymore. I don't know how that's even possible. How is that even possible? I don't know. I, I just, I think, you know what? I think she needs to have Peterson's bacon, and then maybe that will change her mind, because she certainly loves my good ketchup, too, so... You just never know. Maybe kids like it and they just don't know yet. I, I would try that one too because you just don't know. I've, I've done that experiment with the boys too. You don't like vegetables, but I don't know. Maybe you do if they are colored and fun. So you just never know. So I have quick shared this into my Facebook group as well. So if you guys are looking to watch it, it's available on my Facebook public page. It's available in Colorful Keto Lifestyle Facebook group. And feel free to share it on Facebook with anyone that you know that doesn't have Instagram. It will stay in here in the stories for 24 hours. And then like all good things Instagram, like Cinderella, they poof. So while we're waiting for Neil to pop in, if you guys have any questions, Post them in there, and I will take a peek. Yes, Kathy. Kathy loves the bacon. And yes, girl, yes, love of the bacon. How are you doing on the carnivore, by the way? I'm curious. Let's chit-chat about that a little bit while we, while we wait for Neil. I'm going to shoot him a quick message, too, and let him know that we are live. It is possible, because we are all so very technically savvy, that he might not realize that I'm on live. I have more than one time had a miscommunication about time zone because I think I have a degree in that, just saying, you know, if they give out degrees, <laughs> if, they do, if they give out degrees in time zone, I'd like to apply for that. I would love to. Oh, and you know what? Even Dr. Ken says you can never eat too much bacon because when you are full on bacon, you're going to be like, oh, I love bacon, but I couldn't eat another strip. So, <laughs> you're never going to overfill yourself on bacon. Bacon is good food. And also, meat candy. Just just saying, bacon is meat candy. If you have not tried sugar-free chocolate drizzled bacon, I highly recommend this to you. Um, this is what I do when people say they couldn't stick to a diet. I just eat chocolate bacon in front of them and I'm like yeah you, you probably don't want my diet food you, you don't want that that's that's not for you that's not for you so I'm just gonna let Neil know that I'm live on Instagram and hanging out and waiting for him 
hanging out. And this is how slow I type too. Like this is, this is why if you guys are like, oh, I wonder how long it takes Dory to do stuff. It just said hanging, hanging, hanging. I'm hanging on. So, you know, I start typing things and then I'm like, oh, look at how my spell check hates my face. <laughs> hanging out waiting for you. Oh, yes, ducks, ducks, for the love of God, ducks. Oh, I don't even know how to tell you guys how many times um, autocorrect has really, really ruined my life. Like, I don't... I swear, it looks all good until you click send. You're like, oh, that's exactly what I meant to say. And then you click send, and as soon as you click send, it somehow, in the middle, decides that's not what you meant. And it's never anything that makes sense, and it's usually things that are humiliating. Just... I'm just putting it out there. So I messaged Neil. I let him know we're on. There he is. Yay. Yay. I'm so excited. Yay. Yay. And let's hope we have sound. When I tried to go live with Jimmy today, there was no sound. So everybody cross all your crossy stuff. Crossy for me. Hearts love thee. <laughs> Hello. Everybody, good to meet you. Sound! We have sound! I am victorious! <laughs> well, it's great. I'll tell you, I have ne a zero internet at my house. So I'm hanging out at my parents' house right now, and they're, they're out. So they may walk in, and everybody gets to meet them in a little bit, too. <laughs> well, that's okay. We'll just be ready to say, hi, Mom! No, that's right. Well, and a lot of my uh, really passion for food or enjoyment of cooking and that kind of stuff comes from my mom. So. It would have to. It would well, have to, right? <laughs> so let's start, Neil, with can you please introduce yourself? Because I only stumbled across your awesome profile like a couple weeks ago. So tell everybody who you are, and then I want to get to the nitty gritty about Bacon Bash. Sure. No, you bet. Well, I'd be glad. I, my name's Neil Dudley. I'm, uh, I guess. The best way I can put it, a Christian, a husband, a father, a son, a brother, and a friend. And I happen to sell bacon for a living. So oh. that is like the very best part. Uh, I'm the vice president at Peterson's. We make all natural, no nitrate, no MSG, no sugar bacon. Oh. One of the first people to really start putting bacon on the market that had no sugar. Aside from one company in Mexico... And they didn't know they were even doing it. I think it was just an accident. Anyways, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, but we also do Bacon Bash, which is a charity event offered type one. And we kind of started that years ago just as a way to start giving back. And I don't know. Is that maybe that's basically it? Well, I, I love it. So let's start on bacon because I never knew the glory of Peterson's bacon until I went to KetoCon. Now, I, I'm going to admit something to you, Neil, and, and I'm going to ask you to love me and not judge me because you probably saw the live. I, I did a live with Josh at KetoCon where I called it Penderson's bacon. Um, and I think I did that like three times on your live feed. So I'm sure that that's like the joke around the office everywhere. I'm like, what? I'm sure there was an N in there. Come on, Mom. Yes, come say hi. Hi, Hi, Mama. This is Dory. She's a Canadian. I am. We're doing some Instagram live to talk about bacon and bacon bash and keto. And your amazing son as well, of course. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so so you can have a, a moment to, like, mama gush. <laughs> That's okay. We we love the moms, just saying. Oh, yeah. We all had to have one. And some of us were lucky and we had the best ones. Yes, well, I did. Have you heard that Megan Trainer song, uh, I Got em, Our Mom? The Megan Trainer song, Mom. It's like the theme song for all moms, especially my mom, and probably Megan Trainer's mom. I bet you. You know what? I'll look that one up because I do like me some Megan Trainer. I can't lie. So let's talk about music next because I can't lie. I've been kind of snooping around a little on the Bacon Bash website, and it looks like there's going to be some really awesome live entertainment. So can we talk a little bit about that? Like who's coming? How does that work? 
Well, that's the coolest thing. One of the, I don't know if you can even name a coolest thing, but one of the things that is really fun about the bacon, bacon Bash is you get in the gate, free beer, free bacon, free bands. Oh. It's just come have a good time and bring 10 extra dollars because we want to make some money for charity. The bands this year are 1100 Springs. They're really, uh, that's the headlining act. Nice. If you're not familiar with them, go check them out. 1100 Springs, another guy, a group called Copper Chief. Okay. They played last year. They were they were a real big hit last year, so we brought them back again this year. Uh, another group called Giovanni and the Hired Guns. Now, this is all main stage. Yes. you got to think, down the road or just down the street, so we're closing down this little small town of Cranfield's Gap, close the streets down, and we just fill it up with bacon and bands and fun. I love it. So on the other hand, they have the acoustic stage. So you get music on both oh. ends of the street, and I really would just offer you a guarantee that you'll have a good time if you come. So I think my number one question for you, Neil, is... What rock have I been living under that I've never heard of Bacon Bash? Because this is not your first year. This is not your second year. This is, um, what year for you guys, Neil? This will be seventh. Seventh year. Yes. Which is kind of cool. I mean, we've been able to raise over a couple hundred thousand dollars to give in uh, CGM scholarships and also trips to Camp Sweeney and also support another great charity that doesn't get caught, talk, talked about quite as much, but it's, it's Nikki Warms the Cold. Okay. And what they do is they go around Texas and really the U.S. helping those in need. Yes. Homeless people that need clothes. One of the great and cool things that happened a couple of years ago is there's a camouflage company that does apparel called Game Guard. They donated like four pallets of brand new clothes. So they're giving out now brand new clothes to the, to the needy and toiletries, blankets, socks, all these kind of things. So it's all just really about, I, I put hashtag let's all give a little on a lot yes. of my posts. And I just think that that's what we need to be doing. I certainly should be doing it because I can't even fit the blessings in my life. In, in this room much less I mean it's just I'm so blessed and I want to do something for somebody else I love it and that's and really, that's what I wanted to talk about next is do you know what we all have that opportunity that we can give back a little bit so this is a great chance to go so let's talk about how long the event is and someone asked on Instagram where it is again so I'll get you to repeat it so that they can look it up, and then after I'll type it in the comments for them as well. Okay, sure. The name of the town is Cranfield's Gap. Cranfield's Gap, which is just a little bit west of Waco. It's a little bit, it's a couple hours north of Austin. It's the middle of nowhere. I mean, <laughs> it makes it a little bit harder to come to. You okay. Have to get serious about going. But okay. it also makes it that much more special but you can't go to an event in Cranfield's Gap just every weekend now you can go to an event in Dallas or Austin or something there's something every weekend you can go but it's it's a very different reality when you get a couple hours out in the country and this is what you're doing so here was my question for you for my own personal self. I'm not going to lie. This one's kind of greedy. Um, how would you go about getting there? Because I'm all the way in Canada. And when I went to KetoCon, I flew to Dallas and I drove with a friend. But how, if you were coming from out of town, what's the closest airport you would fly into? And then how do I manage to get like two hours to somewhere with a cab or an Uber? Or how would you do that? Yeah. Make friends, well, Dory. <laughs> Uber's probably a possibility. They could probably get you there, but they may not get you back. I mean, yeah. there will be an Uber to pick you up at the airport, but there's not going to be an Uber in Cranfield's Gap yes. after the park. Uh, what you need? Okay, so fly to Austin, Dallas, Fort Worth, Waco even. Okay. Um, and rent a car and drive out. You just have to get the GPS. Mm -hmm. 
almost everybody has a smartphone these days, so yes. make sure you've got the GPS app. And if you can't get to Cranfield's Gap, get to someplace close and say, well, which way to Cranfield's Gap? And they'll say, oh, well, down there by <laughs> that third big oak tree, you need to hang a right. Go about two miles. Oh, There'll be a sign on your right that says, Hooks, oh. uh, you know, Hoops and Horns Ranch. You're, you're almost there when you see that. You know, oh. stop in a convenience store. That'll be about the uh, the directions. Do you know what? I'm from Alberta. Those are the best directions. I think I understand those ones so much better than north, east, south, or west. Because as soon as people say that to me, I'm like, okay, but whichever way I'm pointing, that's north. Like, I don't care. The world revolves around me. If I'm pointing that way, it's north. If that's not north, that's point me north. <laughs> that's... Yeah, that's right. Okay. Now you're going north. <laughs> That's right. Now you're facing north. So, and, and I won't lie, I, I'm kind of seeking out who lives around in the area and our awesome winner of the Bacon Bash tickets. She lives not that far. So I might be able to get me a ride. <laughs> we'll see. That's right. Well, <gasps> are you planning on coming? Is you well, you're I'm going to try. I'm going to see if I can figure it out. It's a little complicated to get from Canada when it's not somewhere that I could just like fly to and then walk there right yeah well <gasps> we, we can and we try to help every way we can um we could probably work something out to get you a ride because there are a lot of people coming from here and there well that's kind of what i thought but, you know, maybe let's start i'll start a feed or a post where people can say hey i'm going this way if you're looking for a ride and figure out how to help people get there because to me it looks like something that was designed for me specifically i can't lie like it's about fun it's about cooking bacon it's about talking about bacon it's about eating bacon well and there's another there's another little <laughs> piece of the pie that for everybody that's watching you sh you can and should enter a team so we, we yes you bring a team we get you that i think i don't know the exact numbers you'd have to go on the website but you enter a team a couple hundred dollars okay you get six people in the gate so now you have six people in your team we'll give you 15 pounds of bacon you make anything you want to with it and first prize will pay four thousand dollars i'll tell you they're all the barbecue competitors they rarely are going to be in a competition that's going to pay them four thousand dollars to win it. So the total prize money is ten thousand wow. dollars, and first prize is four. So that's insane. It, it is work. It is a <laughs> lot of fun, and I would that's highly recommend true. getting a team if you if you. I mean, praline rum ice cream oh. one year. If I just started naming oh. the winning dishes, it goes from cheeseburger to praline rum ice cream. Oh, chocolate dip bacon in a whiskey it is really just something to experience. Oh, let's let's take a minute for that, Neil. We we want to hear talk talk more yummy bacon food. We're we're all ears. Okay, um, so <gasps> the first year we oh. call was the first year winner, which I always I really loved the first couple couple of years because it was kind of just really friends and we we all drank too much and it was really a lot of fun it's a good time uh, but, yeah the team that won it was oh. a team called uh backdoor catering they're out of south texas and they cooked mm. the chicken diablo which was a oh. chicken wrapped with bacon with jalapeno and they made a uh oh. corn slaw or chowder with a cilantro sauce oh. anyways that's the first team that's year oh. one Second year was a rack of lamb wrapped oh. in bacon on a bacon polenta with a oh. uh, uh, some kind of a bacon salad around it. The guy that did that was Chef Bubba Frank. He's up in oh. Chicago. Maybe I hope Bubba gets to see this because I'd like to say Howard. He's kind of a he's uh, working in a restaurant up there now, which he was using lamb from Capra Lamb. It's really oh. cool because a lot of local stuff just comes. And, I mean, so the lamb that he was cooking came from just down the road in Goldthway, a company called Capra Lamb. Let's see. Okay, I'm getting off topic. Third year. Let's see. The third year was the uh, bacon, praline, praline oh. bacon rum ice cream. So that was the third year. Oh. 
Those are all my favorite yeah. words in one sentence, by the way. Like, yeah. all of my favorite words in the world, one sentence. You just did it. Well, it was really genius because, and as Bacon Bash has grown, we've started adding events. So we do a white tablecloth, five-course wine dinner. Mm. And we bring the winning teams, or some of the winning teams, to do the dinner. So the first year we did that was actually the year the Praline Bacon Rum Ice Cream won. We auctioned that off. Oh. I think we raised five thousand oh. dollars just selling ice cream. Right. So it was pretty awesome. Because you'd be the first person standing in line going, "I don't care how much that costs. I want some." There is not enough for everyone. No, Give me mine first. You only have so much. Right. So everybody knows this is the last one. Oh. So how long is the event? When does it start and when does it finish? And let's give them the date, too, because a few people have asked the yeah. date as well. October the 20th. Okay. So that's the date. It's every year. It's the third Saturday in October. Okay. So whatever the third Saturday in October is, that's the day of Bacon Bash. Okay. Now, the question that everyone's dying to know is... Is it okay to wear a bacon suit? You know, dress up like bacon. Is that encouraged? Or is it frowned upon? Uh, if I might get a bacon dress, I can't lie. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, <gasps> you probably feel out of sorts if you aren't in a bacon dress. <laughs> right? Everybody else there will, but it, it's so much fun. There's guys walking around in basic bacon costumes. Um, it, it's just all is a celebration of bacon as well as the charities oh. and, and raising money for those charities so so let's talk about that what are your goals to raise this year to support these charities well i'll just put a number out there we want to raise two hundred thousand dollars this year perfect because last year we were only able to fund about half of the scholarships that were you know we get scholarship applications we only could fund about half of them. I'd love to be able to fund 100% of them. Nice. And so that's our target. We'd like to raise $200,000, and we've already got partially there with some of our other events. I mean, we did a goat roping. We've already done ball of the bash. Now then, it's fixing to be the big year-end Bacon bash. Bacon awesome. Bash. Now, when I was <laughs> snooping around on the Bacon Bash website... I saw the coolest sponsorship layout catalog I've ever seen. So I want to talk about that a little bit because I really love how it broke down the different things that your company or, you know, your personal business can sponsor. Can we talk about that a little bit, how that works and how people can have the opportunity to be part of this, even if they can't attend the event? Sure. Um, and I don't know if I can rattle them all right off the top of my head, but we have sponsorships like Peterson's comes in at $20,000 where we sponsor the thing. We donate the bacon. We do a lot of things for the event. We should. It's our, it's, it's really where our heart is. Oh, I love it. And we have then a lot of places. There's a 10,000 level for like main stage sponsorship. There's 5,000 all the way down to, I think, a bacon friend is 250 And there's a donate button. You can donate $25. So we, we want, if you feel led to give whatever you feel, that's what we want to try to make that a possibility. Because I promise you, if you have uh, lived or even really close to some a, a mom with a type 1 diabetic child that's never had a continuous glucose monitor, when they get that, it, it's a life changer for them. That mom gets to sleep through the night for a change. I mean, it's just the stories are never ending about the way it changes their lives, what, how, how great it is for them. So it's really fun to know you've been a part of it. You're doing this with me right now. You're being a part of Bacon Bash, helping us get the word out and grow the thing. So pat on the back to you. It's really oh, thank you. <laughs> everybody that tries even to tell somebody, hey, I heard about Bacon Bash. You're helping us, and you're helping raise money for kids. So, you know, 
Big and thumbs up. That extends to you guys too by sharing this, by posting about it, by letting your friends and family know about Bacon Bash, companies that you know that would be interested in helping raise this money for such an amazing cause. You guys can do that too. And all you have to do is click the share button to help, to help kids and to help for the love of bacon. Because who doesn't love bacon? Well, and that was another thing. I would, I would encourage you, let's say not every charity in the world is the most stand-up group. Uh, I mean, I think people have the right and should have some skepticism when they're thinking, I'm going to send 25 bucks, 10,000 bucks to this cowboy in Texas, and he's going to go to the Bahamas on it. <laughs> I just want, I, I want to say it out loud and as, as clearly as I possibly can. We are going every bit, every penny of the money we can scrape together to benefit others is what we do. And, and uh, come see the event, come get to know us. Then maybe the next year you get comfortable with putting in some money. We certainly want everybody to be comfortable with whatever involvement they have. But I'm just telling you, we'll, we'll do, we do it as straight up and honest as, as anybody can. And from the bottom of our hearts, we appreciate the opportunity to be involved because there isn't always opportunities that you can really be involved in something that matters, that you can do your small part to help out. And we really appreciate you creating these kinds of events so that we can be part of that. And as a community, we can grow and build and truthfully, together we are stronger as we as we build each other up, we all grow. So we really thank you for that opportunity to share that. And honestly, because Peterson's is doing so much good, and I know you don't really like to do the shameless plugs, but I'd love to give you the opportunity to do the shameless plug. I want to know about how amazing Peterson's is because I fell in love at KetoCon. I didn't know bacon could be that good and bacon has always been the love of my life but I feel like I'm cheating on real bacon with the bacon I eat now yeah. okay here's the shameless plug and it's just a few little stats about Peterson's and what our bacon has done over the past couple of years um, our bacon sales have gone up 95.2 percent since 2016 and up another 35.6% in from 17 to 18. So I think that speaks for itself. There's no, there, you're not going to grow like that if you're not doing a consistent quality product. And that's what we do. I don't do it. I, I don't do it. It's the people in that plant over there that show up at 5 in the morning and don't leave till 7 p.m. working. 60 70 hour weeks especially in the holidays that are making the products that you guys get to enjoy out there and i hope you give us a chance we have meetings over there. we have meetings at the plant and our people want they understand every package that comes off that line could be going to their best friend or somebody else and that should be a good experience for them every time they do it and that's what we strive to make happen so y'all go check us out at Peterson's Farms uh, on Instagram. We also have Facebook. Follow me. I'm at Keto Cowboy, uh, Keto underscore Cowboy. I I think I'm a good guy to follow because I'm yeah, gonna be like giving it. stuff away. Right? <laughs> we we so like now, the giving stuff away. Follows me, so <laughs> you got a good chance of winning something if you're following me right now. Well, I'm gonna say I am so thankful that I stumbled across your profile and that I follow you because I'm like. Dude, he's got bacon. Like, I'm going to follow him around like I'm your new best friend. Like, he likes bacon. I like bacon. I feel like we have bonded. You know? <laughs> yeah, we have. And, well, you've supported several of the things I've done already. I mean, it's... And honestly, I've never been a social media buff or really something I did. My wife one day just said, hey, I made you a social media account. You started this keto thing. We're going to call you the Keto Cowboy. And so <laughs> All right. I started doing it. And it turns out it's really a lot of fun. You, you make friends, acquaintances, 
that you wouldn't do. There's no way to, other, other, you know, like I got friends, my horses standing out in the pasture, but now I've got friends in Canada, really all over the U.S. Yes. And a whole huge uh, resource to learn and know and, and figure out how Peterson's actually does the best job tomorrow and two years from now and 20 years from now because where we are today is only as good as we can be today. We need to be trying to get better tomorrow and, and on. And well, and as consumers... provides a great platform for that. Yes. Sorry. Oh, it's all good. As consumers, it's our job to demand that too. I, I want to remind you guys as we're closing out that better quality products are only available on the market by supply and demand. When we demand better products, companies will supply them. If we go into our local grocery store and say, you know what, I love giving you my money. I've been shopping here for 20 years, but I'm more concerned about my health now. And as soon as you are as well, and you bring better products, I'll shop at your store again. So we have to remember, our dollars are ours to spend. And if we don't spend it on the garbage food, they have to give us better options. Have to. I, 100%, that is America. Well, it's just our system of trade. <laughs> what, what the consumer do, is willing to spend their dollar on is what the businesses are going to make. Now, the businesses will also try to say, you're an idiot consumer. Because <laughs> we know this is how we're going to do it and it should be done. And I think there has to be some open dialogue there from both sides so everybody can really be educated and, and, and understand. But I, my philosophy has always been I want to listen to the consumer and do everything I can to give them the things that nobody else will. And so far it's worked out pretty good for us. And we love your bacon. We can't lie. If I said, ah, well, it's no. just okay, that would be probably the biggest, fattest lie told all day. And, and I have no poker face, so I'm just going to have to take a moment to fangirl and say, dude, you make the best bacon I have ever put in my face. Like, I cannot lie about how good your bacon is, because testify, it's yep, bacon. <laughs> Very much appreciate it. And I would say, don't stop at bacon. Go try our old world kielbasa yes. sausage. Tell you what, go to the Simple Grocer. They're our online partner. They're really great folks over there. You go to the Simple Grocer, buy the keto box. It's all keto-friendly products. Yes. It's, there's sausage, ham, bacon, uh, I think some ground bison, lots of different really good keto things you can use to make your meals with. Hey, and a fresh pork box. This is the thing that I can't... Yes. I'm afraid nobody has really figured this out yet. Our fresh pork box is the best deal on the market right now. Simple Grocery will sell that to you for 185 bucks, mm. which is like two bucks a serving. Go try to buy. I love Butcher Box; they're a customer of mine. I work with a lot of these people, but just go try to find a deal better than that. And if you do, I want to know about it because <laughs> no. I, I've tried myself. <laughs> so leave on that. If you find a better deal, we're all ears. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to beat it. <laughs> That's right. You have a great night, Neil. Thank you so much for your time. And thank you so much for everything that you do. We truly appreciate you. Thank you. You're welcome, Dory. Thank you. And everybody have a good evening. You too, hug.